The ocean has tons of beautiful creatures and sights, such as this, this, and this. But one day, the ocean got crazy and made this abomination. You, you. This is the Dragon Come on, universe. You have such beauties like this, and this, and this, and then you decide to make this abomination. Just, what were you thinking? Giant Isopod looks like the creature from the Black Lagoon, with seven pairs of legs, a really tough back, and really sharp four rows of teeth. All of these are used to fend off the evil predators. No, not those ones. If you want to avoid giant isopods, then you should stay out of the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian o Oh, wait, wait, wait. They're everywhere? Oh, no! The monstrosities came in different shapes and sizes. You can find these benthos bottom feeders living at the bottom of the ocean, eating sea cucumbers and dead whales. That doesn't actually sound that bad of a life. I was wrong about you, giant isopods. Maybe you're just nice, peaceful little animals that eat dead things that fall to the bottom of the... What? The giant isopod rolls into a ball occasionally when trying to escape their opponents, but they also can, you know, bite them to death with four pairs of jaws. Or, as you have just seen right now, strangle them to death. Yay. Although it has a tough back, it being the color of, you know, skin, at the bottom of the ocean doesn't really help it. It is hunted by dozens and dozens of animals. Basically, any animal that can kill something down in the ocean, if they find it, then this is free food. Wow, would you look at the time? It's time to assess the giant squid in the room. Well, hello, giant squid. Today, the question is... <clears throat> today, the question is, what is the term that literally everybody is using online of isopod hours? Well, uh, I do my research, I've determined that isopod hours are actually just a made-up term. They're meant to be used for people who go seeking food in the middle of the night. So, um, uh, I'm looking at you, Caleb, you're such an isopod. Although finding an isopod isn't rare, there are estimated there are tons around the world. They just like to not, you know, travel in packs. I guess isopods are kind of lonely. One foot ra long running across the bottom of the ocean. This thing doesn't even need to be at the bottom of the ocean. It can survive days without food and even hours without water. This animal is surely one fierce, fierce animal. Hey! And that was my project on that animal. By the way, cookie cutter sharks are terrible. <laughs> <laughs>